What's up, people? Welcome to the video and welcome back, members of the Tang Gang. Today we're doing part two of which Pokemon would be from Europe. If you missed part one, you can click the i card on screen now or check the description below. Click the following i card if you're new to the series in general. That'll take you over to the first episode, which explains everything you'll need to know. That link will, of course, be in the description as well. Don't forget to drop a like if you're excited to learn about some more European Pokemon origins, and now, without further ado, let's jump into this. Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir Based on the concept of a principal dancer, after looking over the list of the most famous principal dancers of all time, it's clear that most of them hail from Europe, specifically from Russia. Surskit and Masquerain. With Masquerain just being based on a moth but not a specific type, it was really tough to narrow down where it should go. So I looked to Surskit, a water bug, also known as a Jesus bug by the way, the first fossil of which was found in a piece of amber in France. Shroomish and Breloom, obviously inspired by mushrooms, specifically agaric mushrooms, which are found in all sorts of places. Scotland seems to be loaded with them though, so I guess we'll throw them in there. Wismer, Loudred, and Exploud. Wismer is an amplifier, Loudred a boombox, and Exploud a pipe organ. The pipe organ is one of the oldest instruments that's still used in European orchestral music, and it was invented in ancient Greece. Plusel and Minen. They are the incarnation of positive and negative electric charge. The attractive and repulsive nature of electric charges is described in Coulomb's Law, discovered by French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Badu, Roselia, and Roserade. The German city of Hildesheim is home to the oldest living rose bush, known as the Thousand Year Rose. By the way, it's 69 feet tall and 30 feet wide. Lilip and Cradilly, likely based on crinoids, also known as sea lilies, fossils of which are common finds in certain parts of England. Shuppet and Binet. The concept of voodoo dolls has been historically derived from Europe, despite the term voodoo originating in Africa and only combining itself with these types of dolls once both concepts made their way to the US. Bagon, Shelgon, and Salamence, based on the general concept of a European fire-breathing dragon. Latias and Latios, these two legendary Pokemon are living jet planes, and rocket-powered jet aircraft were pioneered in Germany. Deoxys, it's an alien which physically resembles the double helix model of DNA. Three scientists won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of this structure, James Watson from America along with two British biologists, Francis Crick and Maurice Wilkins. Two beats one, so Europe takes it. Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. The lynx, which this line is based on, is the national animal of both North Macedonia and Romania, which are both in Europe. Heatran. Tough to say where a Pokemon based on volcanic remains should go, but I went with the fact that the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Italy is the earliest volcanic eruption recorded in great detail. Cresselia. Based on a swan, specifically the constellation Cygnus, whose name is Latinized version of the Greek word for swan. The constellation was identified by Ptolemy in the 2nd century and is one of the 88 modern constellations. Darkrai Nightmares are Darkrai's main theme, but you can't exactly pin nightmares to any specific continent. It could also be a Pokemon version of the Boogeyman, but again all cultures have this legend. The only definitive origin is the Greek god Morpheus, the god associated with sleep and dreams. Lillipup, Herdier, and Stoutland they combine traits from a few different breeds of dog, most prominently Scottish Terriers. Audino has a few different inspirations, one of the most prominent being its nurse archetype. The feelers on its ears mimic a stethoscope, which was invented in Paris, France in 1816 by René Lenec. Timber, Girder, and Conkelder, a combination of a construction worker and an ogre. Ogres are present in many mythologies, especially in Europe. Dwebble and Crustal. Kermit crab fossil records were a bit more confusing than some of the other animals, but I believe the oldest one was discovered in the UK. Arcan and Archaeops, inspired by Archaeoteryx, the oldest known species of bird from the late Jurassic period. They lived in what is modern day Germany. Solosis, Duosian, and Reuniclus. They are cells, with the green substance surrounding their bodies resembling cytoplasm and the objects inside their bodies representing organelles. The cell was discovered by Robert Hooke, who was an English philosopher. Ducklet and Swana. Based on a mute swan found in Europe, as well as the tale of the ugly duckling by Hans Christian Andersen from Denmark. Carablast and Excavalier. Drillus flevisens is a European species of beetle known for eating snails and stealing their shells. Carablast mimics this by stealing Shelmet's shell upon trading, evolving into Escavalier. Fungus and Amungus. Given that it preys on humans, the fungus is probably based on the mushroom monsters from The Voice in the Night, a short story by English writer William Hope Hodgson. 
Alomomola. Hard to believe there is actually a fish that looks like this, but there is, the ocean sunfish, also called the common mola or mola mola. Their range is pretty wide, but they were first described by Roman philosopher Pliny the Younger. Clink, clang, and clink, clang, based on sun and planet gears invented by Scottish engineer William Murdoch. Litwick, Lampent, and Chandelure. Chandeliers are believed to have gained popularity in Renaissance Europe, where the brass industry was on the rise. Cryogonal. Snowflakes and ice crystals are too generic to place, but Cryogonal also has a mirror theme to it, even learning some light-based moves. The glass mirror was invented in 1835 by German chemist Justus von Liebig, who developed a process for applying a thin layer of metallic silver to one side of a pane of clear glass. Cobalion, Terrakion, and Verizion, the three musketeers from the French novel of the same name. Cobalion is Athos, Terrakion is Porthos, and Verizion is Aramis. Keldio, while it tends to be grouped with the musketeers as the Swords of Justice, Keldio's main inspiration is actually a Kelpie, a supernatural water horse that sometimes appears as a lost pony. It is said to inhabit the lochs and pools of Scotland, so luckily it ends up in Europe with the others. Meloetta, based on a muse, a being from Greek mythology said to use its music to inspire creativity. Genesect, Bulbapedia just says it's based on insects from the Paleozoic era, making it as old as the cockroach. Given cockroaches infamy for having hard shells and Genesect's steel typing, I settled for just basing its origin on the roaches. The oldest confirmed cockroach fossil was discovered in what is modern day Spain. Bunnelby and Diggersby, I looked over all the rabbit species, and trust me, there are a lot of them. And it seems like all the grey ones are from the UK or somewhere else in the EU. Scatterbug, Spupa, and Vivalon. It's based on a general butterfly, and the oldest definitive butterfly fossils have been found in the early Eocene Mokle in Denmark. Flabebe, Floet, and Florgis. An anthocyte is a fairy or nymph from Greek mythology said to have hair that resembled flowers. Furfru, the Pokemon version of a poodle, the origin of which is still disputed between Germany and France. Either way, it's definitely European. Hone Edge, Dubblade, and Aegislash. Based on legendary European swords like Durendal and Excalibur, able to sense the potential within the wielder. Spritzy and Aromatis, a flamenco dancer with a witch doctor's mask, for some reason. And flamenco originates in Spain, of course. Swirlix and Slurpuff. Merengue, the inspiration for Slurpuff, is a whipped dessert commonly associated with Italian, Swiss, and French cuisine. Gumi, Slagu, and Gudra appears to be based on the Lou Carcole, a mythical serpent mollusk creature from French folklore. Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist, the popular Halloween tradition of carving out jack-o'-lanterns came to the United States from Ireland. Noibat and Noivern, inspired by wyverns which are believed to have their origin derived from the figure of the dragon that the Romans encountered in Dacia, or modern day Romania. Wyverns are also most likely what inspired the red dragon of Wales. Xerneas, it's a cervid, specifically of the species Euclidoceros, an extinct species of deer whose fossils have been discovered in Europe. It also has some interesting Norse inspirations, representing Aethernir, a stag which stands on Valhalla. Yveltal. Man, this thing is loaded with inspiration, but its body shape doesn't point at any one thing in particular. The most reasonable origin, I think, is the one that relates it to Xerneas, that being one of the several beings from Norse mythology, specifically Hresfelger, a giant that takes the form of an eagle. Zygarde. Rounding out the Norse trio, Zygarde's three forms probably represent the three children of Loki and Angerboa, Fenrir, Jormungandr, and Hel. And that wraps up Gens 3 through 6 of Pokemon that would be from Europe. Comment below with your favorite Pokemon origin from this set, and try and guess which ones from the last two generations will appear in the next episode. Guys, if you're not already a member of the Tang Gang, I do not know what you're waiting for. Drop a sub and join the party, ring the bell, and of course, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, you're the best, and until we meet again, later people!